If it's Sunday, you know it must be Sunday dinner with Chef Joe. Hey everybody, and welcome to, well, it's a okay day here in New England. It's a little overcast, but and it's but it's not hot, it's not humid, so we'll take it. Anyways, today we're going to make in our series this summer on small plates and appetizers, we're going to make lamb lollipops. That's right, lamb lollipops. Do you know that when I was doing banquets, we hope we're doing banquets again soon, uh, the lamb lollipop was probably one of the best past apps that we did, one of the most popular that we ever did. Um, so I'm gonna show you today how I make them. You guys ready? Let's do it. All right, so you start off with, um, the easiest way for you to get these is to buy a rack of lamb at uh, the grocery store and you're going to take, and you're gonna cut the lamb into its individual little ribs. And then to really make it into a little lollipop, you're gonna do a little trimming. So what you're gonna do is right where the, the round part of the, of the meat, the, neck, the actual meat part meets uh, the fat in the, in the uh, rib, you're going to cut right down there, okay? And then you're gonna take your knife and you're just gonna slowly cut just along that. Okay, just like that. And that takes off that one part right there. And then you're going to just go ahead and you're gonna just, you're getting all of this right off of the bone, really easy, just like that. Cool, right? Pretty easy. All right, just like that, we're cutting that around, just getting off this little gristle that is on here, okay? And then, once we've done that, I also like to trim if there's usually a little piece of fat right on the edge here of this meat, so I always like to get rid of that. Now, in, the, in here, we're gonna add it to our marinade, and our marinade is made of Worcestershire sauce, so I put an entire 10 ounce bottle of Worcestershire sauce in it. Uh, about a cup and a half, well, you know, a cup and a half, my heavy hand of red wine. And uh, we put in some fresh rosemary. We put in some fresh thyme. Uh, and I believe on the rosemary, I put in two tablespoons of rosemary chopped. I put in uh, one teaspoon of chopped thyme. And I put in eight cloves of garlic garlic eight cloves of garlic I, all they did was just uh, chop them all up throw them in all right and just throw them in like that some salt and some pepper and uh, and then this is what they look like when they're done and we're gonna throw those on our on our hot grill right here all right just like that now you can let these marinate the better the longer the better if you could do you can do up to 24 hours with these if not you can do oh you know uh, an hour, uh, a couple hours if you really want to. The longer you do it, the better the marinade's going to be. I promise you that. All right. Now, while those are cooking, we're going to make our uh, we're going to make our sauce for that's going to go with it. So here I have a cup of here I have a cup of. Let's get rid of this right here for a minute. All right. Beautiful. So right here we have a cup of Greek yogurt. All right. And that is one cup of Greek yogurt. And to that, we're going to add, uh, this is a half a cup of diced cucumbers. This is an English cucumber, so they don't have the seeds. That's really the big difference between English cucumbers and other regular cucumbers is they they claim don't have seeds. If they do, they're just like little tiny, tiny things you can't even taste. All right, so we've got that in there. Then we need uh, some fresh dill. So I have some fresh dill. And uh, we have, this is uh, a half a cup of uh, fresh dill. Actually, sorry, it's not a half a cup. What am I saying? It's two tablespoons. Two tablespoons of fresh dill, all right? Then we are going to put in some lemon and it really comes down to is how thick your uh, Greek yogurt is. 
and uh, so I'm putting in, I'm starting off with a half a lemon, okay, and that seed got in there, so let's get rid of that seed, all right, got it, all right, then I like to throw in a little salt and a little uh, pepper, fresh cracked pepper, all right. And then, you know what? It's too thick even for the for this. So we're going to just use a, a spoon. Too thick for the whisk. All right, so we're just, all you're doing is mixing this up. That's it. It's fresh everything. Fresh dill, fresh cucumber, some nice Greek yogurt, and some nice lemon. It's, it's a very simple sauce. It's a tzatziki sauce. And really super easy to make. All right? Just like that. When it's done... We'll take some of our sauce. We're going to put that in our in our little dish, just like that. We can uh, we'll grab some uh, some more dill for it to make give it a nice little prettiness to it. Okay. All right. While we're waiting, let's uh, let's do some uh, flipping with the lamb lollipops here. And while we're waiting on these to finish up. I love the I love when they have that nice charcoal looking flavor the flair to them because they've got a really nice sear on them. And again, these are really small, so they're not going to take long. Literally, maybe two minutes per side, uh, and that's about it. All right. While we're waiting on those, let's you know it's our favorite segment. Watch Joe chicken. Well. You know the saying you drink with what you're cooking with? Well, since we're cooking with the kitchen sink California red blend in our marinade, I figure cook, drink with what you're cooking. So that's what we're having today. It's not a bad, it'll go great with this lamb. The lamb has got some nice heaviness to it. It's gonna go great, great. All right, when our lamb is done, and I have, uh, I have some lamb actually I did right before the show. All we have to do is plate it. Let's move our over here. Come back to our plate. All right. And I have these beautiful lamb chops that I just uh, made before we came on the air. Just like that. And you, these are a wonderful past app, or you could put them out on your table at your at your tiki bar or whatever you're doing and if you like i don't know about you but i like a little feta so you can even add a little feta cheese to your plate like that and you can even add your lemon anyways there you go past lamb lollipops here on a wonderful summer day in new england and the reason I wanted to do this today is this is in honor of my dad who passed away six years ago today. So, and dad, my dad always, my dad would have loved these, I can promise you. So, until next week, I hope you all stay happy, stay healthy, and stay safe. Make sure you follow me on all the social sites at, at Chef Joe Louie. And until then, I'll see you next week on Sunday Dinner with Chef Joe. Bye.